Hi everybody, Amy White with Worthy Written Words here, and I wanted to show you our Awaken, Cultivate, Flourish scripture journal that we just created. So you can see it's pretty thick. It comes spiral bound, and it has this cool raised, let me see if you can see that. This right here is all raised, 3D. And it has four tabs along the sides. I'm just going to do a little flip through so you can see what it's like on the inside. It starts off with some instructions that show you how to use the journal, how to fill out the templates, and how to use the margins that are in the different chapter templates. So you have some wider margins at the top, some wider margins at the bottom, some on the inner section, some on the outer, and then somewhere they're just completely even. And then there's blank pages too, where you can do anything that you want to do in there. You can take more notes, do art. Sorry. This is a, this book belongs to page. Uh, you can put your name, you can put photos of you, tell about yourself. Here we have a table of contents, and this is a special table of contents because it's filled out by you. So the templates that we've created in here for you to fill out are listed. And then anything that you decide to document in each section, you can write. So you could say, you know, First Nephi chapter 1 or um, whatever it is that you're studying in the chapters. And you can see the different tabs are broken up into these different sections. So you have a character section. So here's where you would do a character analysis on Sariah or Laman, Lemuel, Nephi, you know, Laban. And then you can see the page number. So you can go back later on and easily find what it is that you already studied. And we also have a location section. So after this, the business section of the table of contents and the instructions, we have this introduction and witnesses section. This is for the beginning pages, the introductory pages of the Book of Mormon. So in here you can have a place to study the title page of the Book of Mormon, the introduction page of the Book of Mormon. Um, then we get into the, did I skip? Let me make sure I didn't skip. I did. We get into the three witnesses. And then your own witness of the Book of Mormon can be added after the three witnesses. Personal study of Joseph Smith and the Restoration, as well as the explanation of the Book of Mormon. And then we get into the chapter section. The chapter section is the majority of the book. There's enough space in here. You can see how it's a big big part of the book. It is uh, made to study up to 50 chapters, or you could choose to do 50 weeks of Come Follow Me. And what it is, is it's four, uh, four templates repeated over 50 times. However, so this first template, you have this wide margin up here at the top where you can add some art. Um, and that is what's going to change from one to the next. So you have... A My Personal Study template, a Lessons Learned template by verse, then a Likening the Scriptures to Me, where you can talk about, you know, maybe something with your patriarchal blessing and how it relates to you, or a, a journaling experience of how you relate to the, the situations that the characters are going through. Um, here you can list some goals on how you want to better yourself, and they're based off of the four areas that the new children and youth program are doing. And then every chapter has this blank, it's not totally blank, um, they're, they're little dots, like bullet style dots, a dotted grid page at the end. And this is where you can add either uh, more notes, if you didn't have enough in the templates, you could add pictures from ensigns, um, you could add your own artwork, you can add whatever you want to this page. It's it's for you to be creative and how you, what works best for you. 
So then it starts over again, except this time the wide margins, wide margins are on the side. So you can do different art or even just take more notes depending on where those margins are kept. And then here you have the margins along the bottom. And then you have the margins on the inside. So this pattern is repeated 50 times until you come to the character section. So like I said at the beginning, character section is where you can do character analysis of different people. And you have that template here, and then you have a dot uh, grid page. This is where you can add your favorite artwork of that person, or like I said, it's, it's a blank creative page for you to do whatever it is that you want to do there. That's repeated 20 times. And then we come to the locations page section. The location section is the same thing as a character analysis, but you do it for uh, locations mentioned in the scriptures. So this could be all about Jerusalem, or it could be all about um, Bountiful, where they create the ships, the ship to sail to the promised land. It could be Zarahemla, whatever you come across that you want to learn more about. And this is repeated five times. So you can study up to five characters, five places in here with the blank creative pages. And that is it for our first edition of the Awaken Cultivate Flourish study journal for the Book of Mormon. We, depending on how sales go, um, are wanting to come out with a volume two. That would just be a um, continuation of this one since this is only for 50 chapters. And there's obviously more than that in the Book of Mormon. So tell me your thoughts. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, what you wish was there. And uh, it'll be all be good feedback. And these are now available in the shop. Okay, see you next time. Bye.